Hey guys and welcome to Versus Scale. So I'm. It seems like I'm getting my voice back. So if my voice does give in in the middle of the recording, please bear with me. But so far so good. Um, the biggest news uh, of the day, I guess, is the new code interpreter plugin that is now available for the majority of the users in ChatGPT, and you do have to have the ChatGPT Plus subscription. If you don't find yourself uh, having this plugin, uh, just wait till the end of the week. This is where the rollout is going to be finished by. But to activate it, all you need to do is to go to your settings, better features, and there this will be. And uh, I did not have uh, this feature uh, when I first looked at it, and I had to log in and log out, and then it appeared. So you need to activate the code interpreter. And now if you go to GPT-4, you have the default mode, the code interpreter, and the plugins. So unfortunately, you cannot use the code interpreter in conjunction with the plugins, at least not for now. So I, instead of just showing you the many use cases that code interpreter can have, I wanted to give you some practical applications. And I turned my attention to the crypto niche, which I like. Unfortunately, it is very competitive. So if you go to Ahrefs and type in something like Bitcoin price prediction, you can see that the difficulty is 73, a very high volume, high potential. However, if you go to matching terms, and I'm not sure for how long Ahrefs had this feature for, but it wasn't there like a year ago, but now you have this lowest DR feature, which I find extremely handy. So if you wanted to know whether some of the less authoritative uh, domains are ranking for these terms, you can do that. So we're interested in domains with the domain rating less than 10 that appear in the top 10 results. So let's hit apply show results. And now we can see that uh, there is a bunch of keywords like Bitcoin price prediction 2040. And this is it. So still extremely hard, high volume. But if you look at the SERPs, you can see two domains of GR7 and 8 that are on the first places of the SERPs, which is extremely impressive. <laughs> Especially this guy here, or a gal, uh, which has managed to only 1500 words and still ranking on the first page. So let's look at what this is. And this appears AI generated, quite honestly, with a table. So this is basically a table with the Bitcoin price prediction from 2023 to 2060. And a small paragraph uh, basically justifying the price for each time period. So, and this is it, a, a, an embedded video, a table, a graph, like a, a screenshot even, Related topics, nice, and this is actually it's a very nice way of interlinking, and I should be using this uh, myself. So where does this lead to? And this leads to, this actually leads to Google. Why? Why, why, why would you lead to Google? Um, I don't know, but this is a very nice um, way of interlinking. Okay. So uh, since we uh, see that this is possible, and this is actually written by a gal, so my apologies to Emma, let's see how we can um, do something like this with the new plugin, with the code interpreter plugin that I will be showing you. So first things first, uh, we need the data set, and there are actually, when it comes to crypto prices, there are a lot of places that can, you can get data from. You can go to uh, places like Yahoo Finance that have historical data. You can go to Crypto Market Cap, which has historical data. But if you are serious with your data science and you want the data to be correct, you would go to Kaggle. And this is a free resource. You just need to uh, register. And what I did, I looked for Bitcoin price 2023. The reason I included the year is that Without the year, it would give me a lot of irrelevant old information. And I think I used this one here. And it doesn't really matter which one. So let's just say we go to this one. Yeah, that's the one that I used. So what I did, I just scrolled down BDC, USD, CSV. 
and downloaded the file and so let's make sure this is actually recent so it goes from 2015 to so there is a lot a lot of data points yeah but i trusted that it goes to 2023 as the name suggests so you just press on download and you get this little file which is bdc usd csv and now all you have to do is to go to ChatGPT, choose the code interpreter then uh, you will see that there is a now a new plus button which uh, you should click on choose your csv open and now you can basically everything that you're about to do is uh, related to this file here and however if you stay away from the computer long enough or if you refresh the session this file will disappear and code interpreter will no longer reference it so be mindful of that so let's start with some something simple like analyze the data in the file So it's now set, and, and I'm drinking coffee because it, my voice for some reason feels better when I'm drinking something hot. So it's set, finished working. The data appears to be historical price and volume information for Bitcoin in USD. The columns are as follows, date, open, the opening price, high, the highest price, low, the lowest price, close, the closing price, adjusted close, volume. To provide further analysis, we can look at the summary statistics. Here are the summary statistics and it's giving us some... Oh, wow! <laughs> it's actually... It, it drew us a graph, a nice looking graph. And people are going crazy about the diagram plugin. But what I don't like about the diagram plugin is that it actually has the diagram logo inbuilt. And this you can just save without any watermark whatsoever. And this is... Here it is. A very nice looking... Um, image so be mindful of this as well you can feed code interpreter uh, articles even and ask it to come up with different visualizations okay so now uh, we are actually even though this is a very nice nice analysis it gives us the averages uh, across different factors and parameters but we are interested in forecasts so if you go back to this uh, article here it's actually titled to the price prediction 2025, 2030, 2040. So let's ask based on the data, run a simple regression. You can rely on correlation, but correlation is not causation. I hope you understand that. Simple regression to determine the price of Bitcoin in. And let's just try to replicate this 2025, 2025, 3035, um, 2040, 2050, and, and 2060. Show the forecasted values in a table format and i really should be taking speed writing speed typing courses because my typing is terrible to create a simple regression model we can use the data as the independent variable and the closing price as the dependent variable okay First, we need to convert the data into a numerical format that can be used in the regression model. The steps are as follows. Feed a linear regression model to the data. Predict the Bitcoin price for the future dates. Show the predicted prices in a table format. And this is exactly what we need. Here are the predicted Bitcoin prices. Okay. So, oh wow, I should really be buying some Bitcoin. <laughs> So, because it's saying, if I'm not mistaken, so by 2060, it's going to be more than $200,000. And this will be different to what actually is here, for example. So let's just double check. Minimum value, average and maximum. But so we don't know. There are no sources for this information here. We don't know how this is being calculated. So our guess is uh, as good as anybody else's. 
and we are using statistical methods. So uh, let's fancy it up. Mm, try to include the halving events into our predictions. Let's see if this changes anything. And I can actually do some regression modeling myself, so I'm quite familiar with the technique. Okay, Bitcoin halving events are significant occurrences. Uh, they happen approximately every four years, 2012, 2016, 2020, and 2024. For simplicity, we can try to add a binary variable to our current linear regression. Okay, fine with me. And these are the ultra predictions. Not the ultra, but the ultras. And we can see that they do not vary this that much from the previous prediction, but they are more accurate. And this is it, guys. So the uh, sky is the limit. And let's just um, give me, me a short justification paragraph for each price prediction in each year. I'm sure if, if this is gonna work, but still. Okay. Okay, so this is, you can still use this. Uh, this pertains to the regression and how it was calculated more than anything. And if we go back to this article here, this is more about the external factors like FTC's bankruptcy, crypto investors uh, behaving in a certain way. So, okay. But, uh, and this is still amazing. So you can, um, <laughs> you can even go like, uh, give me five different visual presentations of the above predictions. Okay, I'm actually curious what it's going to come up with. Okay, so this is the first graph with a prediction. So the data ends here, and this is uh, a prediction, a very linear looking relationship between the time series and the price. Okay, and these are the five ways that you can, you can choose whatever graph whichever graph you want. For example, this is the two lines, predicted price and price with halving, nice. But this opens up like a Pandora box of opportunities because if you again go back to Ahrefs and you don't have to, I'm just proving the point here, and go price prediction, match in terms, you see that, uh, let's just go KD like five, You can see that there are lots of keywords like Rivian stock price, Lucid stock price, Spell token price prediction. And look at the volumes on these and the difficulty on these. So the only thing that you, that is left to do is just get the historical prices for whichever stock. And there are some plugins within ChatGPT that, that can do that. Then you feed it back, you export it as a file and then you feed it back to the code interpreter. And there you have it. You have a very solid base upon which to build your cryptocurrency or stock prediction uh, websites and just dominate the niche. So I hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you want me to show you the other ways that you can use Code Interpreter. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.